Hey Trinity family, Pastor Nick here. I wanted to take a moment to address our whole church and actually answer some of your big questions. You see, at our 2022 Open Forum, we started a new strategic plan in which we were really going to be looking at what does it mean for us to be one church in multiple locations. And since that time, there have been a lot of changes in how we've done ministry. And so I wanted to take some time through this video series to actually address your most frequently asked questions about ministry and where we're headed. So you can look forward to seeing me address some of your concerns. And one of the things I wanted to offer is that if you have a question that you would love for me to sound off on, follow the link in the description for this video. I'm going to take the most frequently asked questions from our congregation and I'm going to try to address them in the weeks and months ahead. But for this first video, I want to address the question, what's with video preaching? You see, video preaching is something that's fairly new to us. We actually started it really back in January of 2022. And since that time, there have been a lot of questions. People asking why we don't have live preachers at all of our locations. Others saying that they prefer it when there's actually a pastor on the platform. So let me talk a little bit about why we've made this change. There's really two reasons that I want to unpack. The first is, is that as one church in multiple locations, we truly want to be growing together. What many people have forgotten is that when we first went to multi-site ministry, we only really had one communicator giving one message. It was either Pastor Mark or Pastor Scott Thomas, and they would drive back and forth between our locations to give one single sermon. And what we found is that once all of our site pastors started preaching live, we were no longer actually learning together. Because although we were preaching from the same text and even from the same sketch, what we found is that the application points and the central message was often different from site to site and location to location. We also found that quality varied between one preacher and another. And we said if we truly are going to be one church in multiple locations, we really need to be learning and growing together. And honestly, this isn't anything new for the church. The church has been doing this for 2,000 years. Here's what I mean. When the Apostle Paul wanted to make sure that all of his churches were getting good, solid biblical teaching, he used the latest and greatest technology that he had to get them the same message. In his day, that was pen and paper. He would write a letter to them, and what would happen is when the churches received one of his letters and they gathered together for worship on Sunday, one of the elders would stand up and say, for our message, we have a letter from Paul and would read his letter. And that letter would then be circulated around to the other churches in the region. In fact, the letters to Thessalonians, to the Galatians, and even the letters of 1st and 2nd Peter were all circular letters that were intended to be shared among congregations. And it was Paul's way of preaching to all of his churches the exact same message. Likewise, in the Reformation, Martin Luther had many priests who were joining the Reformation movement, but many of them were uneducated or burdened by the number of people in their care. They didn't have time to write solid biblical sermons. And so he used the latest and greatest technology of the day, the printing press, and they would actually print off sermons, send those out to the parishes, and that's what the pastors would preach on Sunday morning. In short, the video message is nothing more than the 21st century version of the pastoral letter. It's our way of ensuring that we are getting solid biblical messages out to all of our locations so that we truly are one church growing together in the same direction. And one of the things that I've loved hearing from many people is how they've noticed the change in consistency across our sites as we've moved in that direction. People saying that they've appreciated how the flow of messages from one to another in a series are really connecting well and building on one another. It also gives us the added benefit of sharing those messages with others. There have been a number of people who said that the reason they've started to show up to church is because someone shared a sermon with them, because we're now capturing it via video. So that's one of the reasons why we do video messages, so that we are learning together as one church in multiple locations. The second reason why we've moved to video preaching is to free up our leaders to truly minister to and disciple people. You see, preparing a message week in and week out is a truly time-consuming task. To really prepare a solid biblical message can take anywhere from 10 to 20 hours a week. 
And it's because we're taking an ancient text that was originally written in another language and trying to help our people understand how that message back then applies to how we live today. It takes a lot of preparation and thought and care to put those messages together. And what we found is that when our site pastors were having to prep a message every single week, they were spending the majority of their time working on a sermon rather than actually being available for their people. And one of the things that has been really great to hear from the other site pastors and from our team is how much they appreciate now having the time to minister to the members of their congregation how they've been more free to visit small groups, coach leaders, provide pastoral care, and so much more because they aren't constantly burdened by the need to provide a message, especially when we have this ability of all learning from the same communicator each week. And so it's a way of freeing up our leaders to continue to lead and to minister. Again, when we first went multi-site, site pastors didn't preach at all. They were available to lead their congregations at their locations. And so this is the reason why we together as a leadership team felt video preaching was the way to continue to move forward. There are many churches that have been using video preaching a lot longer than we have and are continuing to reach lost people with the good news of Jesus and to grow their congregations. And that is our desire as well. And so that's the reason why we are doing video preaching together as one church in multiple places.